what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? This will probably be one of my most important videos I've ever done, but it probably won't get as many views because for some reason, the more needed information you put out there, the less people receive it. But hopefully it'll fall on the right ears and somebody will be able to either use it for themselves or their loved ones, okay? Now, I was having a conversation with a family member of mine, a youngster. He was going through a rough patch and I was offering him some strategies on what he could do to motivate himself and get focused. This brought me back to a letter that I received from a subscriber on my YouTube channel, Willie D Live, who was asking pretty much the same thing. So I want to share his letter with y'all. Hopefully he won't mind. I recently got into your YouTube channel and the videos are hella uplifting, sending you an email to say thank you for uploading them. Recently, I have been playing know the difference between the things you can change and things you can't daily. It's been my motivation during my personal difficult times. I recently lost my job and my relationship is in a weird place with my lady. So that video has touched on so many bases for me. The hardest part, it seems, is even though I have a plan, plot and implement, there's still a bit of nervousness and worry. Wanted to know if it's possible you could drop a video on starting over and focusing forward. Believe me, man, your videos really do help people push forward. Okay. First of all, man, thank you for that compliment. His name is Brian. So thanks, Brian, for that. Here's where I stand with this. The first thing that you have to do is identify the goal you're trying to achieve. And then say to yourself, do I have the skill set to achieve that goal? You got to be honest about that. And if you do have the skill set, now you have to apply yourself. If you don't have the skill set, is that skill set attainable? You got to be honest about that. Now, once you get that under wraps and you feel like it's a go, then you move forward. And all of this comes down to now mind over map. You got to get focused. You got to get motivated, right? The first step is always the hardest. Just like when you were growing up, if you went to a different school, if you started elementary or middle school or high school, you went to a school and you didn't know anybody, that first day was, man, it was intimidating. I mean, the first, the first day was horrifying. But after a couple of weeks or so at the school, hell, you started showing the new guy around, right? That's how it is. That's how life is. Everything in life, all you got to do is think about the things that you've already done in life. And when you were hesitant about doing something and you did it and then you look back and you say, oh man, it's a breeze. And you figured it out, right? It's the same thing with any type of goal that you're trying to achieve. That first step is always the hardest step. The next thing is your mind language. Your words become your reality. If you describe your situation as a nightmare, it becomes just that. But if you describe your situation as something exciting, that's what it becomes. The next thing is asking for help. I can't stress this enough. Asking for help is not a sign of weakness. Ann Wilson Schaaf said, asking for help does not mean we're weak or incompetent. It usually indicates an advanced level of honesty and intelligence. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be too proud to ask for help. I know as a man, I've made the mistake. Men often make this mistake. Women don't make the mistake as much as men do, I don't believe. Women are quick to ask other women for help. But men, we're too proud. Because I don't know, it's, it's some type of man trait, some type of thing we got going on. But this is why we make a lot of mistakes because we will not seek counsel from our elders. And I got over that by the time I got in my late 20s. But I made a lot of mistakes before I reached that point. So don't be afraid to ask for help. <laughs> the next thing, don't let your adversity become your reality. Too often, when we fall on hard times, we experience some type of hardship, we wallow in sorrow. 
and we get on the pity train and it's poor me, why me, why me, why not me? You made a soldier. You know, God made a soldier when he made me. I got this. When we understand that life ain't supposed to be easy, then we'll be able to get through these hard times and hardships a whole lot easier. Too often we wake up every day and we're thinking that, man, it's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be easy. If you go in thinking that it's supposed to be challenges, it ain't supposed to be easy, then you're able to maneuver a lot easier. You're able to navigate through these uh, adversities uh, seamlessly. You dig what I'm saying? So don't be looking for the easy way out. You know, I ain't saying try to make things hard for yourself, but embrace it. Em embrace the struggle. It's going to be a whole lot more rewarding when you get what you want. Here's one that not enough people take advantage of in a positive way. Lean on your tribe. Your tribe is your support system. Not your clique, not your crew, not your team, not your homies. Your support system. See, what happens a lot of times, people will have a support system, but they don't utilize the support system because the support system is not supporting foolishness. You see, a real support system it's going to move you in the right direction. They're not going to see you out there abusing drugs or doing something that's not productive and cheer you on. They're going to pull your coattail and say, yo, that ain't cool. They're not going to participate in foolishness. But when you're ready to do the right thing, when you're ready to be a productive person, when you're ready to be all you can be and give it your best shot, they're going to be right there cheering you on and pushing you along. That's a support system. That's what you need to utilize if you got one and almost everybody do. Have some type of support system. Some of our support systems are bigger than others. But even if you, even if you ain't got but one person that support what you do, utilize that support system. Lean on your tribe. And finally, be adaptable and be flexible. Before I started my rap career, some of y'all know this. I was a cook at Kentucky Fried Chicken. But I knew that that was a stepping stone. It was just something that I was doing until I could get to where I wanted to be. It was just a step toward my goal. It was not my final destination. Some of us want to go straight to the top. We want the big degree jobs, and we ain't got nothing but an entry-level skill. That's not realistic. One last thing. Ever since I was a kid, I told myself, persistence beats resistance. Persistence beats resistance. Persistence beats resistance. Because I was determined to achieve my goal. So just remember, if you have no follow-through, you get nothing at the end. Good luck out there on your way to the top. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?